Hi, my name's Joanna and I'm a volunteer here at Vauxhall City Farm, situated in the heart of London and only a two minute walk from Vauxhall Station. <laughs> The farm is a charity that relies heavily on donations in order to support rare breeds and educate the local community about farming and livestock. The farm dates back as far as 1976. In 1972, when a lot of North Lambeth was being demolished, local residents, via the North Lambeth Neighbourhood Council, attempted to protect their community from demolition by setting up various community and youth projects on unused land. One of them was the Jubilee City Farm set up in 1977 by squatters tending the land for farm and livestock, which eventually became Vauxhall City Farm. So this is one of our little ducklings. They're all about three weeks old now and they were incubated at a local school and then brought here for us to look after. And they are all Indian runners crossed with apple yard ducks. The farm houses a wide range of animals from tiny rodents to exotic alpaca. We have pigs, goats, horses, chickens, sheep, cockatiels and ducks to name just a few. All our animals are looked after by our dedicated team of staff. Hi, my name's Rob. I've been working at the farm for eight years. Um, over here we have got four Golden Guernsey goats. Uh, they were bottle fed last year because um, their mums are used for the milk. Um, as you can tell, Wilma thinks I'm her dad and she wants a lot of fuss. Um, but we've got four, two boys and two girls, two brothers and two sisters and we can turn them by apart with their faces and the horns and the personality of them. But they are lovely, they're just like dogs. I volunteer at the farm because it's just a day of complete madness. It's just organised chaos, the animals have such character and we've always loved looking after animals and being around animals and they're just completely bonkers. La granja te da la oportunidad de estar en contacto con los animales en el centro de una ciudad tan grande como Londres. The farm offers an opportunity to learn much, much more about the animals, about how to look after them, about their history, about folklore surrounding the animals, where they all come from, their habits, their habitats. <laughs> My favorite animal is Henry, it's a little lamb. Uh, who was was born uh, two months ago, and I've been bottle feeding. It has to be Kellogg's. Kellogg's is my absolute favourite. He's got the most crazy hairdo that you can imagine, and he's just ever so important. And he lets all the girls know. Hi, yeah, I'm Michelle. I'm the family manager of Vauxhall City Farm. We have two hosted projects. We do um, Slam which is South London and Maudsley Hospital and that's gardening and that's in our allotments. The other project that we run on the farm is a group of spinners and they're here every Saturday and they do spinning demonstrations and they work with the fleas of our animals that's shown on the farm and they dye it, thread it, wash it, work it into either balls of wool or finished products. So from the sheep to the finished product it all happens right on our farm. Well, we've got various sheep of different colours, black, white, grey, and we've also got alpacas, and they give a beautiful soft wool. Once it's spun, it's made into a ball of wool ready for knitting, and then it's knitted into usually fairly small things here. We've got a little bag, and that's more or less the natural colours of the sheep and alpaca and another little knitted bag which is dyed with one of the plants we grow on the farm. I'm Jenny Hickman, I'm Youth and Education Manager at Vauxhall City Farm. Um, we have lots and lots of school groups who come here. They'll do tours around the farm, they'll do workshops on food production, what we get from animals, um, how the land looks after us. The education programme is really kind of at the heart of what we do here on the farm. We get groups of kids that come here 
some of them are really lucky and they might have grandparents that live out in the countryside but some of them have never been out of the city and they come and they're terrified of a chicken. I've, I've asked groups before where do we get bacon from and they say Tesco's. So we're here to kind of re-educate kids and, and, and kind of remind them of that link between what we eat and, and where it comes from. We also have our youth project at the weekend, um, our Young Farmers Club, who come in, they learn lots of skills, so they'll help with all the mucking out and the animal care in the morning, um, and they'll do different afternoon sessions to learn things about the environment um, and develop personal skills as well, so things like confidence and um, developing attitudes and timekeeping and all sorts of things like that. Yeah. We do a lot of running for the disabled here at the farm. Um, we have eight school groups that ride with us throughout the week um, and most of our horses are trained to work with them. Most of our children that ride with us are the lower key stages and the majority of them have um, some form of autism which means that the riding is secondary to actually they're learning things like helping with coordination and balance. Um, actually talking, communicating, um, so we play different games with them, um, what's the time Mr Wolf, getting them to count, and count the steps the horse is doing, talking, shouting out, cooperating with each other. I think in the inner city it's one of those things where you've got, you know, you've got so much traffic and buildings and skyscrapers and it's being able to come to a place where you've got animals and nature and plants it's just such a change and such an important thing and we get you know we get a lot of people who work in the city who come here over lunch breaks just to get half an hour of peace and quiet and i think that's incredibly valuable in the city we offer services such as birthday parties mobile animal events animal adoption and farmer for a day the farm is free entry and open from 10.30am till 4pm, Wednesday to Sunday. Check out our website for more information. And the pig got up and slowly walked away. <laughs>